someone being here. The other pages appear to be blank. That's very odd. The other pages appear to be blank. That's very... Do you want something? Nigel, please don't be like that. It's not that I think your mission is flawed. It's just so strange, frightening. It doesn't have to be. It should be scientific. I don't know what I saw at the museum, but it was strange, unexplainable. Unexplainable for now. Look, come on in. I haven't been in Harbour Cottage for, well, a very long time. Are you sure you want to enter? Nothing ventured, Nigel. Nothing gained? It's changed so much. Hmm. What's that? This place. It's so different. It's still miserable, though. Yes. There is an atmosphere to it. What happened here? A suicide. Local businessman. Nice as far as I know. Yes, I read something. In the museum. Edward Molina? That's him. He was depressed, following the death of his wife, Christina. There may have been more to it. We could find out. How? The gadgets, the cameras, our skillful ghost hunting. Be positive. Okay, so what's next? Here, take a look. Four remote cameras. It's techy, but it's impressive. Almost scientific. Yes, the designers know what they're doing all too well. Haddon Industries. Yes, I should tell you about them, but... But how can these help us? The museum surveillance was very revealing. I saw uh, activity, paranormal activity. So you want a similar setup? Exactly. Take these and position them. I'll get the screens activated. <laughs> Camera one, where are you? Bathroom. Can you see anything? No. You need to adjust the transmitter. Move it down. Move it down. Move it to the right. Up a little. Down a little. Down a little. A little to the left. A little to the left. Up a little. Good. Let's set up the next camera. Camera two. Which room? Bedroom. Any luck? No. You need to adjust the transmitter. Move it to the right. Move it to the right. Move it up. Move it up. Up a tiny bit. Tiny bit to the right. Tiny bit to the left. Tiny bit to the left. Excellent. Let's move on to the next camera. Camera three. Whereabouts are you? Kitchen. Clear picture. No. You need to adjust the transmitter. Move it down. Move it to the left. Move it to the left. Up a little. A little to the right. A little to the left. A little to the left. Excellent. Let's set up the last camera. 
Camera four, where did you go? Balcony, is it working? No, you need to adjust the transmitter. Move it up. Move it up. Move it to the right. Move it to the left. Move it down. Move it to the left. Move it down. Move it up. Move it up. Tiny bit to the right. Up a tiny bit. Down a tiny bit. Down a tiny bit. Tiny bit to the right. Excellent! We have vision. Time to see what's hiding in the shadows. This could be orb activity, but how to differentiate between dust and possible supernature? An orb, definitely an orb. An An orb, definitely an an orb. An orb. An orb. There, definite activity in that area of the cottage. The footage has changed in the last few moments. But what are the differences? activity in that area of the cottage.
What's that? Interference? There's something on the wooden beam, on the balcony camera. Some kind of disturbance? This thing is going mad. The EMF meter. You still have it? Excellent. Stay still. See if you can pinpoint the source. There's a mild source, but it's very weak. Wait, it's getting stronger. Stay there. I'm going to ask some questions. Is there anybody there? Can I help you in some way? Who are you? Throw something. Hit something. Make a noise. What are you? Make something move, please. Show me you are here. There's something on the wooden beam. It's fading. The atmosphere has changed. It's gone. Are you a believer? I wouldn't say that. Here, have this back. There's definitely something, but I need hard proof. But, but what about the EMF and the painting? Strange, yes. But ghosts? I admit that I can't explain tonight's fireworks. But that doesn't mean it was the spirits of the dead. Very well. We can try again tomorrow. Very well. Tomorrow it is. Good night, Nigel. I'm not quite ready to retire. Perfect. This will capture any visitors or paranormal phenomena.
Some of the gadgets appear to be missing. Poltergeist activity. The camera has captured something. How did that get here? How did that get here? Nanny Noah, uh, are you are you loitering? Loitering? Me? Yes, you. What are you up to? All become clear for now. Run along. I believe I saw that Rubens girl heading for the coast path. Hello. suspect anything, not even you. Your get up isn't exactly convincing, you know. I do, I promise, but I know it's not him. Actually, we spent most of last night together. Calm down, we only played around. Look, it's not him, so just leave it. Still loitering, Nanny Noah. Oh, shush, I was not loitering. What do you know about the Saxton cabins? Still ghost hunting, Nigel. Why do you say that? Well, I think you know. I saw Lucy by the Martello Tower. Ah, helping you find more ghosts, no doubt. Not exactly. She thinks it's all nonsense. She'll come round, it's proof you need. I'm working on that. Dr. Black is an odd character. He's our modern day Gurney, a potentially fine painter. Really? I thought his style lacked colour. A dead. Everyone's a critic, it seems. I'm keeping you from your ducks. Poor feathered creatures. Can I get some more candles for the cottage? Certainly. I'll replace them. Gloomy old cottage, isn't it? I don't want to be alone in the dark. Does the name Aegir mean anything to you? No, not that I know of. They were a local family, all brothers. I thought you might know of them. I wouldn't want to know them, and neither should you. The missing cats were worry. Terrible business. Cats vanishing all over town. You should keep an eye on your cat, Spivey. I'll catch you later. 
Perhaps. Good afternoon, Bob. It's Mr. Tawny now, lad. Working hours. Oh, um, quite. That book you lent me is strange. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. What do you know about Harbour Cottage? Molina owned that place. Far on Ewald. He came from Spain. Does it have a... Uh, how can I say this? A bad history? Yes, you could say that. Molina killed himself in there. Hung himself from the beam. Old chip's beam it was. From the time of the Armada. Oh, God. That's horrible. Do you think he may haunt the place? Haunt? You mean ghosts? Yes. That place has changed beyond recognition. I believe you'll be okay. For now. What do you know about the murder in the woods? Oh, not a lot. Those woods are dark, ancient, and hide their secrets well. Nanny Noah read my palm. Ha <laughs> ha, damn girl. At her tricks, is she? Girl? What girl? Rose is an old spirit. You know her as Nanny Noah. I'll let you work. Fortune be with you. Reese, what's wrong? It's Mr. Tibbs. He's gone. Taken. Oh, no. Any ideas? They say someone's taken him. Who? And why? I don't know. I'm so worried about him. I'll keep my eyes open. I promise. Can I help at all? Do you know of any local customs or festivals? Sure, Boyle. Check the bookshelf. I'm researching local legends and mysteries. Hmm, right you are. Any more tips on photography? Ah, still snapping, eh? Trying to. The photos are none too great. Just try your best. Trust your own eyes. Looking forward to the fair? Usually, yes. But it won't be the same without Mr. Tibbs. He'll turn up. I'm sure of it. Thanks, boy. Your words are a comfort. See you around, Reese. I certainly hope so. Ah, still snapping, eh? A digital photograph. They are great pics. Well done, Boyo. They are great pics. They are great pics. They are great pics. They are great pics. They are great picks. That's not right. That's not right. Pink flower, I can't identify. Still loitering, Nanny Noah. Oh, shush, I was not loitering. Can you take a look at this item? Of course, I'll help if I can. Can you identify this? <sighs> you got information. First, I have something to ask of you. Fire away. I've set a treasure hunt for the May Day Festival. 
five clothes scattered about town. Can you do a trial run? Yes. I'm sure that's possible. Excellent. Here's the first clue. Now, this photo of yours. Lovely, it's a past flower. Very rare. It only blooms around May Day time. Mm, you're quite a talent. So, I'm hoping you have fun with my treasure hunt. Good afternoon, Mr. Oogle. Is it? Is it really good, Mr. Tanfus? Is something wrong? We've had a break-in. Louts, I should imagine. They infiltrated the museum via the storeroom. Yes, I, uh, I, I read about it in the, in the Saxon Times. Who painted the Tree of Crows? I have theories, but uh, no facts. I believe it's the work of Nicholas Gurney, shortly before his death. What if Gurney was attempting to hide something within the artwork? Hide something? Like what? A clue to the treasure. Perhaps he took his secrets to the grave. Oh dear. Still treasure hunting, I see. The Saxton skeleton is a puzzling affair. Bizarre, isn't it? The culprit was never caught. Many believe it was one of those foul Ager brothers. What do you think the victim was looking for? He was found in the Carrion Woods, on the way to Northfield. Perhaps he was interested in the old mines. Mines? In the woods? Yes. The hillside is thought to be riddled with them. Time for some research, Professor. Mr. Danvers. <laughs> 